Hey there, so I just made this quick video to show you how to get your student logged in on a student Chromebook to um, log into the Chromebook as well as to Schoology. So here we go. First thing, when you open the Chromebook, it's you're not going to see this screen. You're going to see a screen that says available networks or network connection. You need to log into your uh, Wi-Fi network. So at that point, you're going to select your Wi-Fi from the list and then you will enter password for your personal Wi-Fi. I've already done this on this computer, which is why it doesn't show up on mine. The next time you open this Chromebook, you won't need to do that because it will automatically remember your Wi-Fi. Okay, so you logged into your Wi-Fi. Here you are, it says sign into your Chromebook. This is where your student is going to type in their last name, dot first name, at bphawks.org. So this is a test student I'm here, I'm using here, and I'm going to type in the last dot first at bphawks.org last name dot first name at bphawks.org I hit enter it's going to ask me for my password um, the student password will be given to you by your teacher so double check with your teacher for that password I'm going to type in my password here you hit enter or click next and it will eventually load for you. The great thing about a Chromebook is that you're, you're, when you log into your Chromebook, you're logging into your Google account. So if you're doing this on a desktop, um, there will be extra steps. But if you're on a Chromebook, you only have to log in once. So this is just telling you about Google Play and apps. You're gonna click more. And then it's gonna say, do you accept our terms? You can click, um, I review the terms. Oh, no, I don't want to review the term, sorry. Um, tap accept to confirm. Okay, so I'm tapping accept. Now it's going to load my screen. And I know I'm logged in because over here it has my initial. Now this is a Franklin Google test student, which is why the letter G is there. Um, but your student's initial should be there. And also any bookmarks they had saved from last year will show up. Um, but what you want to do to get to Schoology is you're going to go over here where it says BP Hawks Bookmarks. You probably can't see that on my screen, but it's right here in this corner, BP Hawks Bookmarks. I'm going to click on this, and this has so many good, good things. You have Math Magician, Fact Dash, Spelling City, um, School HAC. That's where students can check their grades or parents can check grades. Um, Schoology is down here right above BP Accelerated Reader, so it's the second one to the bottom. So I'm going to click on Schoology. And here it's going to take me to the BP Hawks Schoology. If you just go to Schoology.com, it will not work. You have to be within the BP domain. Now, I have already logged in, so you can see that I saved my password. But you're going to type in the same thing as it was to log into this computer. Last name, dot first name, at bphawks.org. And you click Next. And then it's the same password, which will your teacher will provide you same password as it was to log into this computer. That will not be a different password. I'm then you're going to click sign in. Now, after you click sign in, one of the beautiful things about Google is it will offer to save your password. This little pop-up will come up and it will say, do you want me to save this password? I would suggest you do. That way you don't have to keep remembering passwords or have a sticky note of passwords. Click that save password. Do yourself a favor. Yes, save password. When you land on Schoology, you will see what looks sort of like a Facebook fa feed. It's similar to Google Classroom Stream, if you used that last year. This is, these are the announcements from teachers. It's not really that important. What's important is you go up here to Courses. You're going to click on Courses, and then all of your child's courses will show up here. It might say Language Arts or Math, or maybe your teacher only has one course and everything's linked to that course. But that's where you will link. You'll click, and then you'll go about your day. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, definitely shoot your teacher an email and your teacher will be very helpful in um, navigating this for you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all soon.